So in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create an API in Node.js and be able to uh, start a server. And this server is going to actually serve some data to the client. And this data can be accessed from the URL. So we are building an API in a, in a very simple way. I have created a step-by-step. Uh, after now, we are going to do a rest, uh, get, post, put, and delete. But now let's start from the right from the basics. We are going to be using JavaScript. Later, we are going to be introducing TypeScript. If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment to let me know if you benefited from my lessons. All right, so the first thing I would like us to do is uh, we have this database.json that is fine for migration. We have this index.json. Now, I would like us to adopt a bit of best practice. We're going to move the connection details to another file. We're going to call this file connection.js. So I think this step-by-step -step is here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you can see it says create a file. I'm going to call it connection.js. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it connection.js. Okay. Uh, so this file basically will contain the connection parameters like this one. So I'm gonna just copy this uh, from here. I'm gonna cut it actually and paste it right here. So this is my connection details. Um, so this is fine. So I'm gonna just export it so that we can use it in another file. So I'm gonna say module.exports, exports, uh, equal to client. Okay, so this client can then be used in another file, okay? Now, this index file is okay, but uh, for now, we are no longer using it. So, I think I might just uh, delete. Let me just delete it. So, delete anyway. Uh, let's come here. So, no, let's forget about this. Okay, so I'm going to create a file, I'm going to call it API. So this file is going to be our API. So I'm going to call this file API.js. And this API will, act will actually uh, contain um, uh, the code to start up our server and also have an API to, to serve some data once a URL pattern is accessed. Okay, so the first thing I want, I want to do in this API, I'm going to say actually to um, const, hmm, no, not you, const client is equal to require, uh, require client is equal to require, and it's going to be dot slash connection to JS. So the slash connection with JS. Okay. So I actually have to copy this and paste, and then I'm going to we'll explain it to you because there is no need of typing it out, and I can actually copy it and paste here. Okay. So we have uh, this connection with JS. I'm going to just take out the first one. We need Express as well. Uh, the reason we need Express is Express is the library for um, performance, uh, for creating APIs, let me put it this way, uh, for handling HTTP requests and response in Node.js, so we have to require it. And by the way, we need to actually install it. I can't remember if I installed it, so I'm going to say uh, npm install express. Yeah, so you need to do this. Okay, perfect. Um, so the server is going to listing at port 3300. And it says server is listening at port 3300 client.connect. So if I if I run this application using node, so I'm going to just save everything and I'm going to say uh, node API the, the JS. So you can say it says server is listening at port 3, uh, 3, 3 actually 3300 because there is a port specified here. So if I actually go to port 3300 HTTP um, localhost at port 3300. Let's just, out of curiosity, let's check if not anything happens here. So it says cannot get because it's working, it's seeing the, uh, the ports, 
but there is no get uh, um, URLs mapping specified here. So let's do that right now. Um, so we can now say we have this app. We can say app.get. So we can say app.get. And in app.get, you want to specify the URL mapping. So I'm going to put slash. Once one goes to slash, um, so let's say slash home, for instance. And this we will need a function. This could have been a callback, but it's still okay. And this function is going to take two parameters, request and response. Okay. And it's going to return res.send. Um, and then specify you want, what you want to send. Welcome to node.js API. So we created our first API, but let's test it to just see if it works. So I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'll save everything and close this terminal first and close this one as well. And let's run the API now. And after we run the API, we are going to go to check slash home and see if we get something. So I'm going to say node API .js. And it's listening at port, actually port 3300. So if I go to port 3300, which is what I have right here, and hit the enter key, okay. But I'm going to now go to slash home. And you can see we have our first API created working. Now we can make get requests and have some data served up. But the question now is how do we serve, instead of serving welcome to node, we are going to serve that data. We remember we got some data from um, from PostgreSQL. So we want to actually serve this data instead of serving this static message. We want to serve this data, and I think you can figure it out. But let's do it together in the next class. In the next class, we are now going to let's just check. We are going to now do a uh, create a REST API for get post put and delete on the data we have in our PostgreSQL database. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, leave me a comment to let me know if this has been informative for you. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and we'll see you in the next part.